So today I'm just going to be going over my personal review of the Makita EM2600L. Now this is a uh, straight shaft string trimmer. The string trimmer was purchased on Amazon for $250 and that is including uh, free shipping and I am not even an Amazon Prime member. Uh, they just they give you free shipping on a lot of uh, products that are shipped from Amazon. Now, when I bought this, it was the last one available at the time. They do have it on Amazon again, but I believe the uh, price has increased a slight amount. So I guess I should start off by telling you guys what I like about this machine. It's fairly lightweight. It has a uh, 20 5.4 cc engine which is fairly large um, the only thing that's a little bit misleading on this machine is um, it says Japan here on the shaft but it actually isn't made in Japan if you actually look it up online these are uh, made in China and um, that isn't to say that the quality is uh, poor because it isn't, it is fairly good quality, and it is right up there with the other uh, major brands. They just do not sell these machines at um, very many local box stores. I have actually never seen one in stores before, only online. And I actually decided to give it a try just for that reason. It looked kind of unique to me. Um, but there's a little bit more to that. I've always been a fan of uh, Dolmar products but I've never owned any um, but I've just been a, a fan of uh, their chainsaws I personally haven't owned any but a few of my friends have and uh, the same with their trimmers I haven't owned any of their trimmers but I've always been interested in their machinery and uh, for those of you who do not know this Makita is actually the exact same as the Dolmar uh, 25.4 cc gasoline string trimmer so if you take a look here you'll see the uh, company that manufactures this trimmer is uh, actually called Adai and it's actually the Ning Bode Garden Machinery Company and uh, they are based in China that being said unlike a lot of uh, Chinese string trimmers this has a very nice very good quality trigger kill switch um, the shaft is aluminum the brush cutter guard is very large um, it comes with a uh, brush cutting um, guard as well up here which this is designed to hit your leg and prevent any kickback from a saw blade so that's good that they've also included that uh, the clutch is very good on this machine haven't experienced any slippage and something that I really do like about this trimmer is the uh, gasoline tank guard here. If you have something jagged, it chances are it probably will damage this tank. Um, but from drops and whatnot, you have a nice aluminum cover here. So nothing's really going to damage the tank unless it has a point to it. Which it's always nice to see companies, you know, situate the gas tank up a little bit higher and add a uh, guard something of which I've mentioned in uh, previous reviews of uh, gasoline string trimmers so the fuel tank is fairly large um, it seems to hold quite a bit of fuel uh, the recoil here has a bit of an assist to it which I can feel there is a bit of spring tension inside there I'm not a big fan but this uh, trimmers engine actually has quite a bit of compression which was uh, somewhat surprising to me so I'm guessing that there is a uh, two ringed piston in this machine uh, don't quote me on that I haven't had the exhaust off to look but just judging by the amount of compression and the way that the engine feels I'm gonna say that there is quite a high possibility that there is a two ringed piston in this machine now something that I've mentioned in other reviews I really like this uh, shroud here a lot of people tend to rest their arm, elbow, right here. And this has a nice big cover. There's no hot engine parts that are going to hit your arm and burn you. Everything is covered in this, including the exhaust. And uh, the spark plug here, the boot is protruding, 
but the boot uh, is quite large and has this large cover on it so I'm really doubtful that you will get any shocks from this machine. I've owned this machine for almost a year now and as you can tell it's in very uh, clean condition. I tend to keep all of my machines clean and I believe that that is uh, one way to keep them lasting for quite some time is to keep them clean and uh, use premium fuel in the actual machine as well as a premium oil. One downside on this trimmer is this head. The head that it comes with, it does say Makita on it. <laughs> I guess it's not a generic head, um, but it's garbage. It's uh, really hard to actually wind the string in. And uh, when you take it apart, there's two washers that just fly out with a spring. And you kind of have to guess how it goes back together. I know how it goes. It's washer, then the spring, then the other washer. I've had to use a little bit of grease to hold the washers up in place while I put the cap back on. But that'll be changed. I'm going to end up putting a speed feed on this. Uh, an Echo speed feed. Those are the, uh, well I shouldn't say the best, but one of the best trimmer heads out there. Uh, actually my favorite is what's actually in my Hitachi which is a Hitachi trimmer head and the reason for that is yes you do have to take it apart uh, but the whole piece with the eyelets comes off so you basically wind up the trimmer head and put it through the eyelets and just clip it back on which it's very simple to do so if you have uh, any you know basic knowledge of uh, string trimmer heads so to start the trimmer it's fairly simple the choke lever is here on the back up is with the choke engaged, meaning that it's going to block airflow from entering to the intake system. And down is with the choke off. Like I mentioned before, the pull start has a spring to actually assist you in pulling over the engine. The kill switch is very simple. It's situated here on the handle. So to actually shut the engine off, you just push down like so. And when you want to start the engine from a cold start, you uh, engage the trigger and push the uh, switch all the way forward. And when you hit the trigger, it's going to knock back to the run position. That's only for starting, and what it does is advances the throttle a little bit and actually uh, applies a bit of throttle when you're cold starting the machine. Unfortunately, this isn't going to be a cold start. The engine was running. It's uh, cold enough to the point where I can actually still touch the exhaust without getting burnt. Uh, but it was running, so I'm not going to apply any choke. And I'm not going to advance the throttle as well. Uh, I'm just going to simply pull the machine. The primer bulb on this is situated underneath right here at the bottom of the carburetor. Uh, this is also the same as uh, some other trimmers with a rotary style carburetor like this. Um, the primer bulb is easy to get to. There's a cutout in the air filter here uh, so that you can actually situate uh, two of your fingers or one, whatever, to actually squeeze the primer bulb. And I just primed the machine a couple times, although it did not need it. And I'll pull the pull start and uh, we'll see how it starts. It should take one to two pulls. Just like that. I'll rev it up so you can hear it. This engine's really smooth and it is isolated from the uh, trimmer shaft using a uh, rubber insulator mount. accessories uh, for running a blade but they do not include the blade unfortunately. So we'll take this out and we'll do a couple little trims with it. So once again this trimmer is light enough to use with one hand as with a lot of my uh, trimmers um, but I guess that's uh, dependent upon uh, your physical ability. So I'll just have a, a little bit of weeds here 
and we'll trim them down. I'm using a Vortex .95 line. And the trimmer doesn't put up an effort at all. It's very easy to trim whatever you have to trim. You cut it off. It's just like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know what you think about this Makita. Also let me know if you want me to do any other videos uh, on any other of my string trimmers or anything small engine related. Um, if you've seen my recent video of my still FS91R, I just finished breaking in that engine and I can tell you it has gained quite a bit of power. Besides that, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're thinking about buying a Makita EM2600L, or any string trimmer for that matter, uh, leave a comment. I'll let you know my thoughts. And if I have one, I'll make a video on it. Thanks for watching. I'd give this trimmer a... Uh, seven and a half out of ten stars and uh yeah there's my verdict on it uh medium weight well balanced uh lots of power get what you pay for 250 dollars you get quite a bit of accessories with it um now I, i'm not 100 percent sure on the warranty on this uh that was something that uh, actually wasn't included uh with the purchase there is no warranty information at all uh, but I'm sure if you had a problem with it, you wouldn't have any trouble getting uh, anything replaced. Um, and if you did have any uh, trouble with the machine, you could also leave me a message and I'd be sure to help you. Anyways, thanks for watching. This was another video by Pimpin' Pens. Take it easy. See ya.